Hi Abu, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we'll be discussing on Markov chains, and the one of the implementation of Markov chain is to generate the text, and we'll be discussing a package called Markov V5. It's a Python package, and we can try to generate text using the Markov V5 package. So let's begin. So what is a Markov chain. You can say that a Markov chain. So we can say it's a probability of transitioning. probability transitioning to any state to any state depends solely on on the current state on the current state and the time elapsed so it says probability of transitioning to any state depends solely on the current state and the time elapsed and consider example consider two state here this is a and this is b okay so changing the state from a to b the probability we can say it is 0.7 and changing the state from b to a we can say it as a 0.8 and staying the state in the b itself this can be 0.2 and staying this to a the state in A itself, continuing the state A itself, we can say that its probability is 0 0.3. Okay. So consider an example where we need to calculate after two moves, it has to reach B. Okay. Consider the state is in A and it has to reach B after two moves. So we need to calculate probability of reaching B after two moves. So here, how can we reach B from A? So one is, in the first step, in the step one, what we can do, we can go to B, right? We can go to A to B. Then in step two, we can stay in B itself, right? Stay in state B. So this is one method. Then another way is in the first step we can be in A itself, right? A is in A state itself. It will not change its state. Then in step 2, in step 2 what we can say it will move to A to B from A state to B. So how can we calculate the probability of this okay. here we can say that in the first case what is the probability of moving a to b that is 0 0.7 right so 0 0.7 into what is the probability of staying in the, st in the state of b itself that is 0 0.2 0 0.2 plus what is the probability of staying in the second case take the example of second case we can see that what's the probability of staying in the state A itself that is 0 0.3. We can say that 0 0.3. And what is the probability of moving from A to B that is 0 0.7. So this will be equal to 0 0.14 plus 0 0.21. And we can sum it as 0 0.35. 
so this is the probability of moving from a to b after two steps okay this is how we calculate this marco chain calculate probability okay so now the one of the use case of marco chain is to generate the text okay so there is a framework or the package called markovify so let me open it my jupyter notebook okay so there is a package called markovify we can try to use the markovify to generate the text so let me open the jupyter notebook here what we can do we can first write install the markovify package okay you can say pip install markovify i believe this is the spelling let me check this and we can import pandas as pd and we can import okay let me okay, markovify we can import marco markovify okay there is no module called uh, pandas so let me install panda i thought it's already installed let me do that let's install pandas okay panda is installed import panda as pd we add few more cells and here we can import marco ify file this also add so i have a data set which is called what do we call it it is airport reviews okay so that is my data set so let me try to load that data frame pd dot read csv and it's called airport review dot text let me check the name again airport underscore reviews airport underscore reviews dot text okay something is wrong figure it out just second pd dot read csv does it is here maybe let me copy this silly airport underscore reviews dot csv not text okay so this is the data frame and let me print the head so we can see that it has a content content that is index just forget about that now let me select 500 contents okay here i can set n is equal to maybe just take 200 for the time being and i can take a sub of that which is equal to content then i can select 0 to n so this contains nearly 200 text data now we can join the text okay merge text will be we can use the python function dot join dot join then we can say that review subset review subset that is subset so we have the data 
now what we can do we can start training the model so training model is very simple i can write a model and i can say that markovify dot text then i can give merge text here okay so training is very fast this is done now we can try to generate the text okay i can generate five text in range of five then i can print so this will try to generate the unique text if it is fake to do that it will return none okay model dot called as make sentence so this will create a sentence this will create a five sentence see these are the five sentences that is generated and if you want to create some short sentence what we can do we can also say that i in range of five okay if i want to create some text the characters i mean the sentence length is less than 100 what i can do i can create always use model dot make there is a another option is like short sentence and i can write 100 so this will generate the sentence with maximum length as a 100 okay so this marco this marco if model i mean package is like extensible and which is very simple okay so yeah that is all about in this video please do like and subscribe have a nice day bye bye and definitely i will upload this into my github repository you can download and use it bye bye